interest for you and any wildlife you may be lucky enough to spot. Building up behind the trees is the Britannia Royal Naval College. The foundation stone of the college was laid in 1902 by King Edward VII. The building was finished three years later. Built by Higgs and Hill of London, designed by Sir Ashton Webb, it costs around £220,000. It can house over 500 cadets at any one time, not from our own navy, but also friendly navies around the world. All of these cadets are of an officer class. All of the immediate male members of the royal family have served time at the college, and yes, that does include Prince Edward. He did a grueling fortnight here, just before he ran off to join Andrew Lloyd Webber. Behind us on the right, I'm sure you can hear it, we got the uh, steam train just leaving Kingsway. On its way back to Paynton, a few of you going on the steam train today. Uh, we should get a nice view as it comes past us by the uh, higher ferry. That's a quite bizarre looking white and blue vessel ahead of us on the right. Uh, we do refer to this as the new higher car ferry. In fact, it's been in operation for over five years, but it's built to replace the old one. And we were quite sad to see her go. At the time, she was the last paddle driven vessel on the river. She ran for 50 years and made well over a million crossings. But we did need something twice as large, twice as fast, and apparently twice as expensive. And there it is. That's one thing in common with the old car ferry, it's attached to both banks by two large steel cables. It uses these cables to pull itself along. And because of this, it's not actually classed as a ferry, but rather a floating bridge, hence the name of the very nice pub on our left. You need to be aware of this if you use the old sat nav in your car. Not only does a ferry appear as the quickest route to Dartmouth, it also appears as a continuation of the B Road. So you could find yourself in Kingsville right around midnight to find the B Road's gone home for the evening. And we'll be back until 7 o'clock in the morning. If you're quick and lucky enough to notice there's no road there and you don't get incredibly wet, you still have an opportunity to shout all the swear words you know as you drive a 25 mile round trip back through Top Ness. So
outside we've got some more Canada geese, or as I know in Canada, geese. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. We've done that. We not walked up through the town here. Right. Sprats. So it does. Yeah, I'm sure there is. The ordinary. Starting them off, look, Rosie. Now, what was that you said, Wells? I didn't see it mooring up here. So, um. No, not here. It might be. Oh, oh. Wait, so this is the last place you can go because of those bridges? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think also because of tides. And, uh, actually, navigable river depths. I think beyond there, the river just is too shallow. I've been down a bit of the dart on, a, on some barrels some plastic barrels. We did like um, uh, a charitable... GoPro, stop recording! I'll just keep on saying that. Say what? GoPro, stop recording. Is that recording then? Is it really? GoPro, stop recording! Oh my bad, would you? So, how does daddy look, Will? Should I put some highlighter on you as well? 